Hi there, Treasure Rescue here, and I am super excited to share my haul with you today. Um, it's from Value Village, and something incredible happened. She pretty much gave it to me all for free. Um, more than half of the stuff didn't have um, a price on, that, on, on it, so she's like, I'm just going to give them to you. And then the other half of the stuff or the other 30% of the stuff even, she gave me over 50% off of them. So everything that I'm going to show you here minus two things, I only paid $7 for. And it's just, it just blew my mind. I just couldn't believe it. I don't know if she was just having a bad day or if she's part of family with o the owner. I don't know, but she, I wasn't complaining and I was like, this is crazy. Um, these two pieces that I'm going to show you first before the Value Village stuff um, came from Goodwill. Um, they're just those, you know, those pieces that are like too delicate and you don't want them to even wrap them. Like I hold them in my hand and I've kept them in my car and now I just finally um, grab them to do this um, haul. Um, also stay till the end. I have an announcement about um, video scheduling um, from now on. Um, so this is the first thing. This is a candle holder. Um, now I know getting just a single candle holder is a risk, but when I looked up this maker, which I don't know if it's gonna focus. Anyways, I'm sorry about the focus. Um, it's PMP hand painted is what it says and there is like a crown on top of the initials so when I looked that up um, it is German and it is handcrafted and hand painted so these flowers are handmade and then they're hand painted this single candle holder can go up to $30 and I only paid 79 cents. So I had to grab this, I had to take a chance on it. I'm definitely going to um, post this and see what happens. Actually, sorry, it was 99 cents, but um, really, really exciting. This next piece, it's a hobbyist piece, um, art pottery, it's not really, well, it says USA on it and then some pottery, um, I mean, it's old. Uh, it says USA and it has some pottery signature, some pottery studio signature. I got it for 79 cents. It's that sponge wear, uh, sponge uh, painted um, porcelain wear that's like prevalent to like Roseville and um, other American um, pottery makers. I loved the flowers. I absolutely loved that it had these flowers on them and they're not broken. There is like the tiniest, tiniest little chip. And I think the reason why I didn't initially see it is because the flowers are like also kind of like sponge painted. And so the flowers themselves are not painted evenly anyways. So it's just really really pretty and i feel like somebody out there will really really love this so i had to grab that um so those are the two like delicate pieces that i've been hoarding in my um car just because i was afraid that anything would happen to them um this piece for sure actually i still don't even know like they're just so cool um I'm pretty sure it's an art piece, but it's like, so it has $3.93 um, on here, but she gave me this for 99 cents. Um, and it says, Polly made me. And then in the, in the, in, on the inside, it said, it says laugh a lot. And it's kind of like a skyline, like a, like a city skyline. There's like a coffee cup right here, another coffee cup right here, like like tens like I just think it's the coolest bowl ever and like for 99 cents even if I were to put it for five dollars which I'm not I've like 
got my money back five times over. Like this is why I love this business because you get the coolest things ever. You save them from these places, you pass them on to new people and you're making money. Like it's a no brainer. You just have to know what sells and you have to know what's good. Um, this was 40 cents. I think she just, this was like the only piece that she gave me that was 40 cents. Um, also an art piece. Um, I like the rim inside. Um, it has a number 16, like in an eyeball. Um, I believe this was also formed. It wasn't a mold. So it's 100% handmade. And then the painting is just so cool. And I like that how, I like how it's lightly glazed. It's not super, super shiny. Um, that's not really my thing well in certain pieces it's not really my thing so I really like that um I was initially gonna keep this for myself um I don't think she could read what the price said to me it looked like 181 like a dollar and 81 cents and she kind of looked at it and she was like a dollar 81 when that thing was like a dollar so she's like I'm just gonna give this to you she put it in a pot Initially, I was going to keep it for myself, but I don't feel like there's anything too special about it. So I'll probably um, sell this and these make really great bud vases or like uh, mini succulent planters. So that's usually how I market them. Um, this cute little thing, he's staying with me. He's a planter. He's for sure a planter or maybe a candle holder. I don't know. It's this cute little hand painted bunny and he has a hole in his head. So I'm thinking maybe a candle holder or, uh, you know, for me, I think it would be cool to stick like an air plant or a little bud out of the top of his head. So he's staying with me. As a matter of fact, I'll just put him on my desk right now. And that one's mine. That was also a free item um next this said made in china on it but i couldn't believe that it was made in china i love the lines um it said a dollar on it a dollar oh one and i think she she gave it to me for a dollar um i love the lines and they're so crisp like Look at the cheekbones of of the horse, like the, the details on the basket. There is some age to it. As you can see on the bottom, it's been used. There is the Made in China sticker, but I believe it's old. And I really like the lines. It was like very art deco lines, which is just something that you don't see in these kind of planters. So I had to snag him up. Um, he was the um, exception to the... Um, China, China sticker rule. Um, what else did I get here? I got this little basket. I'm contemplating whether or not I should keep it. It has a date on it of 87. It didn't have a price, so this was another one that I got for free. Um, this kind of glaze I love on many things like this. Um, so I don't know if I'm going to keep him yet or not. Again, it could be a planter. It could be a, um, candle holder. I just love the detail, like the detail of whoever made this. So it says 87 BBC MC. So definitely a art pottery piece, but really, really nicely done. And I love the glaze on these mini pieces like this. So you know what? I'm going to stick them on my desk and figure it out. <laughs> um, this was just... Okay, none of this stuff obviously is cleaned because I'm unpacking it with you. Doesn't have any marking. Doesn't have a price. So I got him for free. Um, really, really cute. <laughs> little fox. I love him so much. He's just like a little um trinket little dish and I thought he was really cool so I picked him up and he was for free so that was really cool um let's see I'm just digging through the box here are these the last ones I 
Okay, before I get to that, I got this picture frame. I'll probably, I am like getting a hoard of picture frames because I have not been able to find any picture frames that I like in like big box stores. So I've been getting frames as I find them. This is not real turquoise, but it looks like real turquoise. She saw the price on this and she said, I'll give this to you for 99 cents. Um, it's not, it's painted. It's not like real turquoise, but I thought it was really nice. Like with the, with the, like with the design and what I look for is I just want deep designs. I don't want anything that's like slapped on there, pressed from a machine. So the details were really nice. I like how it looks like turquoise cause I'm a turquoise fanatic. Um, this is probably going to be hung on the wall. So because this is showing, I'll probably take this off and then I'll need to um, put a hook or something to hang it. But that one's staying at least for a little bit with me. And then I might just get rid of all my um, my hoard at the same time. Okay, these three cups. I don't know anything about them. They have a Made in Japan sticker. And it says AA Importing Company, St. Louis, Missouri, made in Japan. They each had a $2.02 and two cent, um, price. She said, I will give them all to you for a dollar. So I got these three cups for a dollar. So a dollar, a dollar, a dollar, a dollar, 40 cents. I don't know how it came out to $7. Oh, the frame and the little... I don't know, it came out to $7, but seriously, everything that I showed you here for $7, these cups, I still haven't done my research, but they are hand painted for sure. Oh, here, I didn't even notice that they're signed right here. And it's in French. I wonder if they all say the same thing. Oops, sorry. Let me see if they all say the same thing. They all say the same thing. However, I just noticed something else, which this is kind of why I love unboxing these things for you guys. Um, okay, so let me show you the cup from the front. So this is the cup. They have the same signature. They all have the same sticker. The sticker is impeccable. Um, they all have the pink and the green. And it's all the same lady. However, all three of them have a different flower on the back. So this one has this flower. It looks like a, I don't know, a pink flower. This is like a morning glory flower. And then this is a rose. So all three of the cups have a different um, flower on them. I absolutely love the shape. Like, look at the shape of this. It doesn't, like, the shape of this doesn't say tea to me. It say it says more like a chocolate, like a chocolate set. Like, you know, those Japanese chocolate sets. I'm not sure. I need to do my research on these, but I just thought, and they're not broken. <laughs> How does Value Village keep their stuff unbroken and Goodwill cannot manage it? I don't know. Unless Goodwill gets things donated to them that are already broken. Anyways, that was my really cool... I got this for mostly for free haul. Um, my announcement for my schedule, I'm going to try to add another video in Thursday, on Thursday. <laughs> so um, video on Thursday and Sunday. Um, I'm just ha finding myself having to hold on to stuff to do a video with and my turnaround for processing and um, uh, posting is getting faster so I think I can squeeze in another video on Thursdays I will try my best um, I also have another channel unrelated to reselling and I'm also very active in, active in my church so I have a lot going on but I'm going to try to do it I'm starting to feel like I'm getting the hang of things um, as always, my eBay store is linked down below. Please check it out. And um, please share any information or any um, uh, 
knowledge that you guys have on any of these pieces that I showed today. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!